Look, still I'm going live. Fingers. Okay, we're live. Let's Yay! see. We're live. Yes. Okay, we're... so welcome to How to Cake It live at five fifteen. <laughs> five fourteen. Very five close. 14. Um, we made it. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us again, again for this second episode <laughs> of Live How to Cake It today. And uh, you know what else is live today, right, Jocelyn? What? Camp cake Camp is on cake. sale. Woo, woo, woo. Is that why you're wearing like a? Why are you wearing a toque? <laughs> Can you get my toque without my face, I can, Jeremy? Get your, I can get your toque. Can you get a faceless toque, Jeremy? A faceless toque. There you go. <laughs> okay. That is why I'm wearing a toque. Okay. Camp Cake it's Holiday Remix. Holiday Edition. It's on sale today. Woohoo! I cannot wait for um, all of you to join me. When is Camp Cake? Live for me. It is December 9th. I can't believe December 9th is like around the corner. I know. That's pretty much like a month away. So we're going to play 21 questions, but what's the first question you have for the audience right now? Who is joining me on Camp Cake? That's number one. And where can they sign up? That's my question. You can sign up at howtocakeit.com. Woohoo! You can register and then you can join me and I'll bake here where I always bake and you can bake at home. Yay! Okay, okay. so, yo, what are we playing? We're playing 21 questions. Is this inspired by 50 Cent at all? I don't, I still don't know what you're talking about. His song, 21 Questions. Oh yeah, I forgot about that song. I don't even know who this is. <laughs> I forgot about that song. Honestly. By the way, really nice placement back there, yeah? Yes. Let's just take a look. Oh, look at that cake book in yeah. the background. I have a few copies of it. Oh, oh, and, oh another oh, yeah. one. Yeah. Lovely. Mm. Lovely, okay. So, I have a bunch of questions. Okay, I thought there was 21. Well, yeah, 21. Okay. Let's see if we get through, I through all of them. I think I need to sit. I'm just going to... Can I... Okay, <clears throat> go. And tell the audience the little twist that we have. So, with some of the questions. Well, the twist, I'm going to be asked 21 questions, but if I don't think I can answer or I don't want to answer, I can pass that question off to someone else. Maybe Jeremy? Maybe <laughs> Jocelyn? Maybe someone we can reach by phone? <laughs> <laughs> Who will it be? And please remind them to play along. Oh, oh yes. Please play along. Last week when we did, no, two weeks ago when mm -hmm. we did the R&B 90s challenge. Yep. There were people who guessed faster than me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, here we go. First question. If you could transform into any one person and live their life for a day, who would it be and why? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I thought for sure you were going to answer right away. Actually, you'd be surprised at my answer, but does it matter if they're living or dead? Uh, let's say no, it doesn't matter. Then I'd be Marilyn Monroe for a day. Ooh. Because, I mean, I look exactly like <laughs> So it's the obvious choice. Um, no, I'd be Marilyn Monroe for a day. Why? Because I love her and just to live life in a different time period that I didn't experience. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be cool. Okay. What's the first thing you would buy if you won the lottery? <laughs> and try and repeat my question. Okay. In case. What is the first thing I'd buy if I won the lottery? Wow. I'm going to put a time limit on it. Oh my God, you're going to laugh. What? It's this thing. Mm. It's what? <laughs> no, it's go. by a modern design company. It's not even that expensive. I don't need to look in the lottery. But you hang it on the wall and you organize things in it. It's not funny. But like, what do you mean organize things? Oh my God, it's amazing. Like it has little compartments and then you could hang things, but it's all this like molded plastic. So it's like one piece that you hang up. That's what you would buy if you won the lottery. Expensive. Like honestly, it's probably like $600. Like <laughs> if I won the lottery, I feel like I should buy something more expensive. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. I'm fair sorry. enough. I don't drive, so I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. I would buy a plane ticket. I'd go to the airport and be like, I want a ticket for around the world. <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. I don't know. Where either. do you start? In what direction do you? Go? I don't know. I don't a know. Ticket around the world, and the second thing I buy is my wall organizer. Yes. For when I get back. Perfect. What is your biggest fear? Repeat question. Oh, what is my biggest fear? Oh gosh, I have quite a few of them. One of them that has followed me around through a lot of my life is that I have a fear of controlling anything or driving anything with wheels. <laughs> Like, I don't ride a bike, I don't drive, <laughs> I don't want a rollerblade, I don't want a roller skate. We can put skis in there even though they don't have wheels. <laughs> Skateboarding, forget it. No. Hover, you know those things people are, yeah. what is it? No. <laughs> I want no part in it. 
What game or movie universe would you most like to live in? What game or movie universe would yeah. I most like to live in? Well, I haven't played video games since Super Mario, so I don't movie. think I would go in the, uh, Dirty Dancing. Oh, oh no. yeah! Hello. I was going to say Dirt. Avatar, but that's good. No, Dirty Dancing all <laughs> the way. I'd be one of the workers, mm -hmm. you know, when she busts yeah. in and she sees them and they just dance after work. <laughs> that I would be one of them. What job do you think you'd be really good at besides the one you're already very good at? Oh, I know what job I'd be really good at besides this one. Gift wrapping. I would be a professional <laughs> gift wrapper. In fact, I'll take it a step further. I would buy gifts on your behalf <laughs> for people. So I'd choose them and wrap them. <laughs> All you have to do is write the card. Perfect. What state or country do you never want to go back to? State <laughs> or country? Yeah, you never want to go back to. Repeat question. Oh, well, that's, I feel like that's offensive. I'm going to offend someone. Well. I don't like this. I don't like where <laughs> this is going. I'm going to pass this off. Really? Yep. To who? To Jeremy. Hey, to Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. State or country would you never like to go back to? Oh, this is great. Um, oh, I, you're gonna have to put a time on this. I know it's gonna be so bad. Okay, you know what? I had a great time in Morocco, but the flight back was the worst experience of my life. Um, my wife was throwing up the whole ride back. Oh, whole ride back. Seven hours next to someone vomiting. Excuse me, am I allowed to say why? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, you sh uh, sure. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's for a good reason, Jeremy. Was she. Okay, let's just move okay. on. Okay. <laughs> All right, and <laughs> moving on. What celebrity do you best impersonate? I know the answer to that. Oh, Chris Rock. Okay, so go is for that it. the answer? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is too much pressure. I only do Chris Rock well when it's like impromptu. Now I'm like on the spot with the spotlight. Just tell your favorite Chris Rock joke. You do it so well. Oh, I got to edit because Chris Rock says some. I got to think about. What can I say that's not like doesn't have profanity in it? Huh. I'm really stuck here. Um, wait, I gotta think about this. This is really hard. And I know so many Chris Rock jokes, but a lot of them are inappropriate. Um, let me think. You have good ones about marriage. Yeah, yeah. I love his whole thing on marriage where he says you have to marry somebody who's the same kind of crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you a Jehovah's Witness, you gotta marry a Jehovah's Witness. If you a crackhead, you gotta marry a crackhead. It's very logical. It's extreme, his example, but it's very logical. Good, good job. Okay, when was the last time you climbed a tree? That must have... Last time I climbed a tree... I thought you were going to say never. The last time I climbed a tree was in my last life. <laughs> so you've never climbed a tree? Yeah. I'm just guessing, because I don't really remember my last life. But maybe she loved climbing trees and driving. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's your favorite piece of clothing that you own? What's my favorite piece of clothing that mm -hmm. I own? Mm -hmm. It's got to be... This is hard. Yeah. I can own a purse easily. Clothing. Hmm. Oh, um, I have a dress that I really, really like, and it's DVF. <laughs> Diane, if you're watching, which I know you are, I love your wrap dresses. <laughs> And I would be honored to wear them on How to Cake It because they're very appropriate. They are. They're right? wonderful. I mean, if that's not yeah. a cake decorating dress, I don't know what I it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah. What would your perfect room look like? <laughs> that's too hard. <laughs> repeat the question. Repeat what the would my perfect room look like? Oh, wow. Okay, quickly. Don't, quickly? Yeah. Don't, don't it describe it to everybody. It has concrete in it. It has concrete <laughs> in it for sure. It probably has a concrete floor. Okay. It probably has white and grays. It has a comfortable couch. Very comfortable. So comfortable you could sleep on it. Right? But then it has accents of like metallics. <laughs> like, like brass, like a beautiful hexagonal brass pencil holder. <laughs> Things like that. Because yes. you definitely need a pencil holder in every room. Of course, with a notepad. Obviously, yeah. Mm. What if you come up with an idea when you're relaxing? <laughs> what do you do? Sure. I'm going to say, now I type it into my phone, mm -hmm. but I still prefer the paper. It's true. You do. You always take notes on paper. Mm -hmm. Are you usually early or late? Oh, it depends what it's for if I'm early or late. That's interesting. 
Uh, tonight I'm going to see Janet Jackson. I plan no. to be early. But no. if I was going to like the dentist, <laughs> I might be late. You might be a little bit. Good answer. Good answer. I like the dentist, but you know what I mean. Okay, three words to describe your husband, Mr. Cake. Oh, three words to describe my husband, Mr. Cake. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, he's smart. He's loving. And he's a typical Leo. Which means? You know, like <laughs> leader of the pack, very confident. Yeah. 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 Um, what are some small things that make your day better? Small things that make my day better, I will tell you. One, how to kick it got a coffee machine. Woo! Yeah. Jenny loves that. <laughs> so that's one. Uh, small things that make my day better. Oh, picking up my son from school. Um, seeing something funny on like Instagram mm -hmm. or Facebook or something like that. Something that makes me laugh. <laughs> or watching something on YouTube that makes me laugh. Uh, yeah. Okay. What would your first question after waking up from being frozen for a hundred years be? I'm sorry. So in a hundred years be 3017? Yes. <laughs> Probably where am I? <laughs> How can it not look different, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. When did I fall asleep? <laughs> what else? What else would you want to know? A hundred years from now? Oh my gosh. Do people still like cakes? <laughs> That's a very important question. Does fondant still exist? Yes, does fondant still exist? <laughs> Have they designed better tissue boxes? <laughs> Things like that. What's wrong with tissue boxes? Tissue boxes are terrible. It's always some like flower blowing oh, that's breeze true. with a butterfly or like they're terrible. I thought you meant the functionality of them. And no, I was, like, no, no. I mean the, the look. Like, the look. The graphics. True. Yeah. Okay. What age do you wish you could permanently be? What age do I wish I could permanently be? That's loaded. Um, all the way now? 40? Okay. Um, I, I, I. I think I could pick 40. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I can pick 40. Yeah. Yeah, I might do 38. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I love it. Okay. What's something you like to do the old-fashioned way? Which I feel like is a lot. That's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, uh, hmm, that could go awry. Something I like to do the old-fashioned way, that's simple. I like to level cakes the old-fashioned way. That's true. I like a ruler and a serrated knife. I also like making lists the old-fashioned way with a pencil and paper. There you go. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. How do you relax after a hard day of work? People relax. <laughs> <laughs> If you could relax after if a hard I day at work. If I could relax after a hard day at work, I'd probably choose to take like a nice hot shower um, and maybe read some articles or watch something on Netflix. Okay. Um, if you were a dictator of a small island nation, what crazy dictator stuff would you do? And you're the dictator of Grenada. <laughs> well, everybody has to be neat. If you're not neat, you're out. We throw you in the water. Uh, everybody has to be neat. This is a must. Um, I probably, like, I would just clean up everything. And I don't mean, like, I mean, I, I mean, like, everything would have to be put back in its place. I'd make people, like, change their store signs if I didn't like them. So, like, everything I looked at looked beautiful. I used to, when I was a kid, one of my biggest fantasies was, like, I would walk down a street, let's say I was on, like, Queen Street, and mm -hmm. I would look at a block of Queen Street, and I would picture it, like, completely different. Like, if I paint this building like this and make this sign like this and make it all the time. Like, if I could give a whole block a makeover. That would be really fun. I know. That would be so fun, actually. That would be amazing. Would you, like, make everyone in school take, like, neat classes and organizational yes. courses? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Organization should be a course. Organization should be a course. That's true. And I then nothing think it would should. bother you because everything would be like so neat and organized <laughs> and in its place. Um, what is something that a ton of people are obsessed with but that you just don't get the point of? Oh, that's easy. A ton of people are obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes and I don't get the point. Uh, it's a hot milkshake. I don't understand. It's like liquid pumpkin pie. Yeah. And I know there's coffee in it, but not enough to make up for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why don't you just drink coffee and have a slice of pumpkin pie? That's amazing. You get different textures. It's true. Yeah, I don't get it. It's true. Sorry. 
What's the best thing that happened to you last week? What's the best? Oh, can I really tell you? Yeah. You're actually going to be shocked by what I say. So last week we were in New York. We did a book signing and the pinnacle moment was it was in Brooklyn and this lady came up to meet me and she was like Yolanda how are you not wearing your 99 problems hoodie you're in Brooklyn and I was like you're absolutely right that was amazing she made me realize that how thoughtless I was I would say your book coming out is probably also one of the best things that happened oh yeah so that's see, see how I just said that yeah. I can't even that feels like I know that was last week I know but it feels so long ago now it feels like we were gone for a long time. Yeah. Um, what is the luckiest thing that has happened to you? What is the luckiest thing? Oh, I'm going to go cheesy. Uh-oh. Probably having my son. Is that oh. luck? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm getting a message that I've used 91% of my data this month. Excellent. <laughs> that is the unluckiest thing that's happened to you this week. Yeah, yeah look at that. See that? That is Yay. the timing. We couldn't have planned that better. Mm -hmm. No. Um, okay, final question. This yes. is lucky question number 22. Oh. <laughs> because we've done 21. Well, technically, I gave one to Jeremy. That's so true. I have only answered 20, correct? Okay. Okay. So, what is something you will never, ever, ever, ever do again? Ever, ever? Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever? <laughs> ever, ever? Wow, never do again. Oh, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say it without names or identifying. Oh, I'm naming him. Oh, I, I, I never make a cake that looks like Chip <laughs> again. That looks like who? Chip. Oh, you really hate Chip. Oh, I can't stand More it. than Lloyd. No, see, Lloyd I like, and I actually like Lego. Okay. My son loves Lego. Uh, Lloyd drove me crazy because he was so difficult. Chip was difficult, and I don't like him. <laughs> you really don't like I don't like him. him. I haven't even watched Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I'm not watching it. It was so difficult. Remember what you did to that cake? Yeah. Tell them. No. Nope. <laughs> Tell them what you did to that cake. No. Let's, I'll give them a clue. Remember my pink lemonade, the visual cake? You thought she had it bad? <laughs> she didn't. She got off light. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Good job, y'all. Yay. Jeremy's the only one that got, got a question. From... I didn't give Jocelyn a question. Okay. What question? Yeah. Let's just use all my data. Okay. Sure. <laughs> no, I want to read. Can I read that? Hold on. Or are they that. like a secret? No, no, they're not a secret. I'm just trying to find the email. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can show that. <laughs> oh, I think you read them all. Yeah, I did. Okay, Jocelyn, what would be your first question after waking up from being frozen for 100 years? <sighs> I would I know probably. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be like. Have people stopped fighting yet? Like you I was gonna say. I was gonna and, say. And then I would say, and are there animals left? Oh, yeah, that makes. Total I'd say, sense have, have you guys stopped fighting yet? And are there any animals left? I and is she, Trump is his whole lineage like over with? Over. Hopefully. I thought she was gonna say, "Do people still love?" <laughs> That's what I thought she was saying, which is pretty much what she said in different words. Exactly. It's okay. like, good. Are we? Are there wars still? Are we getting okay. along yet? Okay. Do we have enough water? Do we have enough Clean water? water? Oh my God, that is what I would ask too. See? I would. Um, okay. Thanks, yo. Good job. Woohoo! Thanks, Jeremy. Yay! Um, yo, take us out. Tell us where we can find how to cake it. Yes. Uh, our regular episode of How to Cake It is Tuesdays at 11 a.m. And we will be back for a live How to Cake It next Thursday at 5 p.m. Live at 5. Live at 5. Hopefully. Can, I, can next week I dress like an anchor woman? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. You know? And remind them about Camp Cake, please. Camp Cake is on Come sale now. You can register at howtocakeit.com. It's taking place December 9th. Woohoo! Okay, guys. Okay.